I welcome you all in this session. As you are aware in previous session we were uh, solving couple of examples of uh, one sample Z test questions using Minitab and we have worked out several examples. But in all those examples which we worked out in last session, uh, we were having only Z test, we used only Z test, we did not work out any example using T test. So, let us look at couple of uh, more examples using Minitab and we will work out uh, examples not only uh, on mean, but on proportion as well. So, let us look at this example, the average commission charged by full service brokerage firms on a sale of common stock is this. So, average commission is 144 dollars right and the standard deviation is 52 dollars. Joel Freelander has taken a random sample of 121 trades by his clients and determined that they paid on an average a commission of 151 dollars. At 0 0.10 significance level at this much alpha level, can Joel conclude that his clients commissions are higher than the industry average? Just last line, can Joel conclude that his clients commissions are higher than right, the industry average? So, how would you proceed for this? This is a case of what one sample test or two sample tests. So, first of all, let us uh, frame null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So, null hypothesis is this that the average brokerage is 144 and uh, uh, alternative hypothesis is that this is more than 144. So, this is how you should frame null and alternative hypothesis. Now, uh, sample size is what? 121 right, n is equal to 121 traders determine that they paid average, average commission of this. So, x bar is sample mean is 151 right at alpha is equal to 0 0.10. Now, we need standard deviation. Yeah. So, you have been given a standard deviation as well right. So, standard deviation is 52. So, this is a case of one tailed upper tail test or uh, right tail test with this set of information. So, we will work out this question and we will see whether we would be rejecting or not rejecting null hypothesis. So, let us look at this. So, first of all uh, go to state basic statistics, then one sample z test. Then, then we will have summarized data. So, this summarized data sample size is there. Let us look at sample size, it is uh, 121, sample mean is 151. So, 121 is sample size, sample mean is 151. we have been given alpha is 0 0.10, standard deviation is there which is 52 perform hypothesis testing. So, we will click here, hypothesized mean is let us check once again what is hypothesized mean 144 is hypothesized mean. Let us decide a significance level alpha value, just, so just click on option confidence level is 95. So, it is 90 in this case because alpha is 0 0.10, then alternative hypothesis would be a greater than type, right. So, then click OK and OK. So, this is your sample size, mean, standard error, and this is your p value. 
right. So, p value is 0 0.069. 0 0.069 and alpha is what 10. So, is p less than alpha? Yes, p is less than alpha. So, we will reject null hypothesis. We will reject null hypothesis and then we will say that when we reject null hypothesis, it means it means we are accepting alternative. Higher. It means that we can say that uh, John conclude that his client commission are higher than industry average. Yes, clients uh, commissions are actually higher than industry average. This is the decision, right? When when you rejected null hypothesis. So this is how you can work out questions on uh, hypothesis testing using Minitab. Let's look at question on uh, hypothesis testing of proportion. So, Grant Incorporations, a manufacturer of women's dress blouses knows that its brand is carried in 19 percent of the women's clothing stores east the Mississippi River. Now, he recently sampled 85 women's clothing stores on west coast and found that 14.12 percent of the stores carried the brand. So, it is 19 percent east of the river and 14 percent on west coast 14.12 percent at 0 0.04 level of significance. Is there evidence that grant has poorer distribution on the west coast than it does on east coast right. So, how would you frame null and alternative hypothesis? So, first of all keep in mind this is not a not an example on hypothesis testing of means, but it it is a case of hypothesis testing of proportion right. So, what would be the null hypothesis? So, initially you will say that the uh, distribution is equal on west coast and east coast right. So, you will frame null hypothesis like let us say pi is equal to 0.19 right and pi is, is less than 0.19 is not it. So, this is a case of left tail test is not it. So, it would be like this right. So, this is your rejection region right. Let us look at other details given in this question. So, we have got sample size n is equal to 85 alpha is equal to 0 0.04. Okay. So, let us let us uh, work out this example using mini tab right. So, keep in mind 85 is the sample size alpha is 0 0.04 it means it is 96 percent right. Okay. So, we will we'll look at how to enter data. So, we will go to stat basic statistics this is one t test. Yeah, this 1 p test 1 proportion this is a case of proportion right. So, 1 p we will click here and this is how you can enter data either you can enter data in each column or you can have a summarized data. So, this is a case of summarized data. So, we will enter data over here. So, here we will have to uh, write number of events and number of trials. So, let us look at uh, question again number of events and number of trials right. So, Grant recently sampled 85 women's clothing stores on west coast and found this much percent. It means 
out of 85 how many samples uh, were there. So, you just multiply 85 into 0 0.1412 you will get some value. So, that would be uh, that would be total events right a number of trials are nothing but sample size. So, we will you can just calculate this value you will get some answer so, let us do data entry. So, whatever is that value you will enter that value in in in, in many type software. So, number of events it is 12 right. So, when you multiplied when you multiplied uh, 85 and 0 0.142 the value was 12 right approximately 12 right you need you can you cannot write uh, uh, any decimal points over here. So, number of trials you just enter that value it is sample size right. Then we will perform hypothesis testing hypothesized proportion in this case is you know it it is 0.19 is not it. So, 0.19 is hypothesized proportion we will go to options and confidence level is 96 percent is not it because alpha was 0 0.04 and this is a case of what type test this one is a left tail test right less than type test. So, alternative hypothesis proportion is less than hypothesized proportion and there are two method there are two methods given exact method and a normal approximation. So, we will use normal approximation then click one more click here right. So, this is the output. So, we have got sample size 85 sample proportion is this much you have, you have got upper bound as well and z value, but let us look at p value it is 0.126. 0.126 is p value right and alpha value is 0 0.4 is p value less than alpha is p less than alpha no. So, we will not reject not reject null hypothesis. We will not reject null hypothesis it means what? we will accept this is not it and what is what is this hypothesis that the the distribution of uh, this this particular brand of clothing is same both sides east coast and west coast this is the conclusion ok. So, this is how you can solve a question on hypothesis testing of proportion. Let us look at one more question from a, a total of 10200 loans made by a state employees credit union in the most recent 5 years period 350 were sampled to determine what proportion was made to women this is w o m e n women this sample showed that 39% of the loans were made to women employees so, out of 350 women surveyed 39 percent were given loans. So, out of this much trial uh, you have to find out number of uh, you know what is that it is the number of events right. So, this is 350 into 0 0.39 right that you will be entering data in many types of software right. So, this sample showed that 39 percent of the loans were made to women employees a complete census of loans 5 years ago showed that 41 percent of the borrowers then were women. So, a, uh, a complete census was done 5 years before this particular study and it uh, and the results were that 41 percent loan was given to uh, 41 percent women were given loans right. 
at a significance level of 0 0.02 can you conclude that the proportion of loans made to women has changed significantly in past 5 years so when 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 you you did a survey you found that 39% women were given loan but in 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 another study which was done 5 years ago showed 41 percent were given loans right. So, can we conclude that the proportion of loans made to women has changed significantly in past 5 years. Here we have to see whether it has changed significantly or not right. We do not have to check whether it has increased significantly or decreased significantly especially increased significantly right. So, how would you frame null and alternative hypothesis? your null hypothesis would be 0.39 and alternative hypothesis would be not equal to 0.39. So, it is a case of two tail test ok. In fact, uh, so this is in fact, uh, this is the study which 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 is which has been done now and uh, it was earlier study. So, we have to check whether uh, there is a change from previous study to this study or not. So, in fact, this is not the way you should be writing null and alternative hypothesis. In fact, what you should be writing is pi is equal to 0 0.41 and alternative hypothesis is not equal to 0 0.41. right so how 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 to proceed for this now let's look at other data here sample size is 350 and significance level is 0 0.02 so let's look at solution using minitab stat basic statistics it's 1p right number of events. So, you need to multiply 350 into 0 0.39 right. So, it becomes approximately 136 and number of trials you need to write total sample size right. So, it was 350 ok. So, perform hypothesis hypothesized proportion is now 0 0.41 right option so, this is point uh, it was point 0 0.02 right. So, 98 percent significance level and this is this is not equal to because we do not have to see whether uh, the percentage loan given to woman has gone down is not it. We have to just see whether it has changed or not then press ok, then then click ok. So, p value is point, point 0.415 and other values are given over here right. This is your null hypothesis and this is alternative hypothesis right. So, point 0.415. So, p value is point 0.415 and alpha is equal to point 0.0. 2 is p less than alpha no if p is less than alpha no so we will reject the null hypothesis no so we will not reject the null hypothesis if p is less than alpha reject the null hypothesis otherwise do not reject the null hypothesis so, we will not reject null hypothesis. It means this hypothesis still prevails right. It means what we are saying is that there is no change in the percentage of loan given to women now and what it was 5 years ago right. So, it is just statistically it is one and the same. Let us look at 
next question some financial theoreticians believe that the stock market's daily prices constitute a random walk with positive drift if this is accurate if this is accurate then the dow jones industrial average should show a gain on more than 50% of all trading days if the average increased on if the average increased on 101 of 175 randomly chosen days what do you think about the suggested theory use 0 0.01 level of significance so this is uh, a case wherein uh, you have been given uh, sample size so number of events and number of trials are given over here so this is a case wherein you need to frame null and alternative hypothesis so uh, null hypothesis is uh, it is pi is equal to 0.5 average should show a gain of on more than 0.5 of all trading days if the average increased on so let us let us work out this question and we will do data entry so go to state right so number of events 10 1 and number of trials number of trials 175 perform hypothesis test so hypothesis proportion is 0 0.5 options uh, you need to test this hypothesis like let us look at this 0 0.01 it means 99 percent okay so this is how just select alternative hypothesis which is greater than type click ok click ok so look at p value over here p value is 0 0.021 So, this is a case of an upper tail test a right tail test we will have we, we can compare p value with alpha value. So, p is 0 0.021 p is 0 0.021 and alpha is equal to is p less than alpha no. So, we will not reject null hypothesis and what is null hypothesis that the average is 50 percent of all trading days it has not increased ok. So, let us look at next question Rick Douglas the new manager of food barn is interested in percentage of customers who are totally satisfied with this store. The previous manager had 86 percent of the customers totally satisfied and Rick claims the same is true. So, there was this fellow there was one one manager who did a survey and he found 86 percent customers were satisfied and this manager also believes the same. Now, he sampled 187 customers and found 157 were totally satisfied at 1 percent significance level is there evidence that Rick's claim is valid. So, is this percentage still valid? So, your proportion is 
and it is not equal to 0.86. Total sample size are let us say total trials are 187 and number of events are 157 right and alpha is equal to 0 0.01. Okay. So, let us look at this, we will go to state. one proportion number of events one twenty seven and number of trials we will check it it is uh, it is one fifty seven and one eighty seven and number of trials one eighty seven we will perform hypothesis testing let us look at once again hypothesized mean it is point not hypothesized mean hypothesized proportion 0 0.86 0 0.86 click options then yes this is correct it is 99 percent and proportion is not not equal to hypothesized proportion is not equal to click ok click ok right so, p value is 0 0.421, 0 0.421. Now, let us look at whether we are rejecting or not rejecting null hypothesis. 0 0.421, so p value is 0 0.421 and what is alpha value? 0 0.01. Is p less than alpha? No. So, we will not reject null hypothesis and we will say that uh, we will say that risk claim is still valid. Whatever was satisfaction level of customers 86 percent earlier, it is still the same, it has not increased or uh, it has not changed we will in fact we we really do not know whether it is increased or decreased in fact uh, that can be known from here just when you divide 157 by 187 if it is more than 86 percent then you will say it has increased otherwise if it is less than 86 percent you will say it has decreased right but for the time being we will say that there is no change in satisfaction level. So, let me summarize what we have done in today's session. We have looked at couple of questions on hypothesis testing of proportion especially one sample test and we have looked at in fact uh, one tail test as well as two tail test. In, in next session we will have questions on on t test in fact uh, 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 I, I really do not know whether we have taken couple of examples on one sample t test or not if if we have not taken we will have some questions on uh, one sample t test so with this let me wind up today's session in next session we will have some more questions on hypothesis testing of proportion using mini tab Thank you.